The spiraling increase in food and commodity prices has caught many by surprise, raising the political stakes, along with concerns about implications of the food situation in middle and low income countries, about inflation, and in some countries, about civil unrest. The IMF's managing director has been vocal in calling the world's attention to the food and fuel problem. The disruption may occur in the economic environments, trade balances, current account, so that at the end of the day, most of governments, having done well during the last five or ten years, will see what they have done totally destroyed and their legitimacy facing the population destroyed also. The increase in food prices partly reflects a mixture of longer-term factors, such as food crops being diverted to biofuel production, higher food demand from emerging economies, and higher energy and fertilizer costs, as well as temporary factors, such as droughts, floods, and political instability. Mark Plant, who is the deputy director of the IMF's Policy and Development Review Department, elaborates on the implications of the food crisis. The managing director, Dominique Strauss-Kahn, underlined that this is a humanitarian crisis, but it's a humanitarian crisis of many dimensions, including macroeconomic dimensions. It has implications for countries' budgets, for countries' balance of payments, for the country's sustainable economic environment. And that's why the fund has to be part of this broad international effort. Plant describes the various strands of work being undertaken within the fund. We've got a task force that we've put together with all the departments of the IMF, and we're looking along three broad dimensions. First of all, we're looking at a diagnosis of the problem. What is the problem? Where did it come from? How is it affecting countries, particularly the poorest countries in our membership? Secondly, we're giving advice about the policies that countries should be taking in the short and long term. How are countries going to face this food crisis? This is a very deep crisis. It's one that affects many, many people. And governments are desperate for good solutions, sound solutions. And the IMF can offer some of those solutions. And third, we're going to help with some financing. When governments have a lack of foreign exchange, when they need more money to buy foodstuffs, to buy other kinds of supplies that's necessary to keep their populations fed, we're willing to step up and provide some loans where needed. In the face of increased hardship, a number of countries have taken short-term measures to help the poor. First and foremost, governments have to feed the hungry. That's a difficult problem for some governments. They have budget constraints, they have scarce resources. But governments have to think about the long term as well. Some short-term remedies, for instance, some governments are opposing export bans aren't a good idea. They don't help the country and they don't help the longer term incentives for production. So we need to think ahead. When governments take measures to help the poor now, we need to think about the next steps. How are they going to encourage production? How are they going to, how are they going to ensure that food markets actually work in the future? And so we're aiming our advice at giving them the room they need right now to help the poor, but thinking about what the long term response is going to be. The IMF is also working with the United Nations and other international bodies to coordinate global and regional responses. This is a problem that requires a multilateral solution. The entire world has to be involved. And so we're very much a part of the burgeoning effort led by Ban Ki-moon at the UN to, to look at this problem. The manager director is a member of Ban Ki-moon's task force. Many of us are serving on the supporting committees for that task force. We're coordinating closely with the World Bank, with the FAO, with other or international organizations and bilateral donors who are fighting together to solve this problem as expeditiously as possible.